What's going on everybody? Tony here and I am back on Disney property here in the parking lot of Disney's Hollywood Studios. Now you all know about the new Genie Plus and the Lightning Lane and the individual Lightning Lane pretty much in a sense. The a la carte if you will. And people have been going to the parks or just keeping a look out at the parks, you know, and seeing what the wait times, the standby times are here at the Disney parks, as opposed, because some people, actually I should rewind a little bit, some people are, I wouldn't say opposed, they're just more questioning if the Genie Plus is worth it. You know, Genie Plus being $15 per person per day uh, doing your Lightning Lane passes. Or you can just skip that and throw money at a certain ride. Not every ride is an a la carte at each park. Uh, not every ride, it's a certain one. So for instance, here at Hollywood Studios, I believe it's just Rise of the Resistance and I want to say Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I think those are the only two that you can just throw money at it, if you choose to, to possibly ride it a lot quicker. Well, maybe not so much quicker, but the fact that you don't have to wait in a standby line. So people have been noticing the current standby times. And some of our lo are low that make them say, or make people say, hey, I'm not going to do the Genie Plus, it's not worth it. And some look at these times and say, oh man, I'm not waiting in that line, you know, I'm just going to do, you know, pay the $15 and just, you know, pick my times or, you know, what's available, I should say, to be able to ride a certain ride and uh, not wait in these lines. And then there's some that are saying, that those wait times are not legit. This is a scare tactic from Disney to make, to try to persuade you to purchase the Genie. I'm not sure about any of that really, to be honest with you. And I don't know if you can really tell by that. Um, however, we are here at Hollywood Studios and I'm not purchasing the Genie. I'm not, you know, I'm a local, so I feel that Genie is not really worth it to me. Um, but in some families, it could be worth it. So we're going to hopefully ride a ride today using the standby only. So taking a look at the standby time, having Siri time it to see how long that wait time is, and to see on the app, if you would have paid the $15, what your next available time would have been for that ride. So if kind of figuring out if it was worth putting the money or just waiting in the standby. I don't know how this is gonna go. I kind of know what I wanna say, but it's like, you know, even I'm getting confused by it. I don't know. We're gonna go try to ride a ride using the standby and we're just gonna compare times with the apps and what we see and what Siri times it as. So let's go. Chip and Dale is out. <laughs> They're doing a little greeting to those going to the bathroom. It's like the best greeting I've ever gotten to use the bathroom. And look who I ran into. And a sleeping baby. I think the first ride we're gonna check out is the beloved Hollywood Tower Hotel. The Hollywood Tower Hotel is not a a la carte. You can't just throw $15 at it. This is a lightning lane for the Genie Plus, meaning it's just part of your $15 per person per day. And look, it's Christmas. It's not e Halloween That's right, not even Halloween yet. But you know what? I was just saying to Lisa, Hollywood Studios is always the first park to go under. Up too many decorations, and I feel like for Hollywood Studios, or there, I should say, 
It's a lot more simpler compared to some of the other parks. It is a simple. Yeah, it is simple. Uh, Hollywood Studios usually is the first to go under transformation, and then Epcot is the last. Current standby, according to the entrance here, is a 40 minute wait. And I can already tell you, for me, I'd rather just wait in the standby than pay $15 per person per day to try to ride this. But we're gonna look at the app and see what it actually says more into detail. Okay, so we're doing the standby entrance. We just entered. We're already here at the wait. It says 40 minutes. We have the timer set for 40 minutes. Let the countdown begin. Now I'm going on the tip board right now and we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios because I wanna see what they're saying about this ride right now. If we scroll down to, where are we at? Tower of Terror. Stand by 40 minutes or you could, you know, pay $15 per person per day to do the lightning lane. Now remember, this isn't an a la carte and you can get on by 4.15, okay? The current time is 3.18. So you can stand by for 40 minutes if it is a true 40 minutes, that's why we have Siri going. Or you can wait an hour to get on. See, maybe this is just my thing. I, I feel like I would just rather wait the 40 minutes and, you know, I don't know, but I can understand like people, oh, well, well, there's other things I could do instead of waiting in line, you know, I could go eat or I could go look at the merch. We are approaching the Tower Hotel here. And we have 26 and a half minutes to go. So, I don't know. You be the judge. So I feel there's like a debate of when you would actually stop the clock. Do you stop the time right when you hit the pre-show? Or do you keep the time going until you actually are about to board the elevator? We have about 19 minutes left before our 40 minutes is up. So I mean, Maybe we could do two times. You know what I mean? We'll stop it at the pre-show. Or we'll, you know, I'll call the time at the pre-show. And then we'll keep the time going through the rest of the queue to see what it is. But right now we have 19 minutes left until our 40 minutes is up. And we're just about to enter into the hotel. 14 minutes to go until the 40 minutes is up. And we are in the hotel. So, so far, leave it in the comments below what you would do. Would you wait? Or would you pay the 15 per person per day to not wait in a standby? Because that's what it really comes down to. Do you want to wait? Do you mind waiting? Or do you mind waiting? 13 minutes and 26 seconds left. I'm calling the first time at the pre-show. One. And we are here at the pre-show. So I'm calling the first time at 13 minutes and 10 seconds left to spare of the 40 minutes. Let's have some fun though. We got 10 and a half minutes until our 40 minutes is actually up. 10 minutes left to get on this ride. As you can see, I'm the last one in the line. That doesn't happen very often, but I kind of like it when it does. Use either lane, but I always seem to go straight. Leave it in the comments below where you go when you can use either lane. Do you go straight or do you go to the right? I see the elevators and we got nine and a half minutes left. Totally beating it, beating the 40. Row six, nine minutes left. Beat the clock by almost 10 minutes. And do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. The Twilight Zone.
once again. This time, it's opening for you. Hey, why does this move forward? I don't know if we proved anything or not by riding that ride. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think it proves anything. What it all comes down to is if you're okay with waiting or if you're not okay with waiting in a standby and you wanna save 15 bucks per person per day or spend the $15 per person per day to ride a ride like Hollywood Tower of Terror. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I'm not gonna pay it. You know, that's just me. I don't see myself paying it at all. Uh, but then again, I'm local. So that's a difference, you know, by, uh, you know, somebody who's just coming on vacation as a once in a lifetime or something like that, or just only comes down maybe once a year and you want to get the most out of your trip, then yeah, then it's worth the $15, I guess. All I can tell you is that Disney posted this ride as a 40 minute wait or you could use your lightning lane to ride it. At what time did I say? At 4.18 p.m. was the next available. We beat the time, uh, not by much, but we beat it by like, what, 10, 12 minutes? And we got on before the next available lightning lane that, uh, what, uh, 3, 3.18, we got on before that or whatever time it was, it was something like that. I'd have to backtrack. I don't know, that's all I can really tell you. That's the only thing that's proven, is that we beat the time, and that was it. Well, that's it today. Didn't really prove nothing, but it just really comes down to whether you want to wait or not. That's it. There's no real in-between. Um, the only thing I could try to answer, but I don't have enough research to really answer it, is if the wait times are legit, or if Disney is kind of, you know, pushing that time up just to like make you think, oh man, I gotta buy it. The genie, um, I don't know. I I got on the ride like, what was it, 12, 10, 12 minutes early. That's not enough research, so I, I have to research a little bit more. I gotta do it with. I gotta come back here and do it with Rise of Resistance. That's when I, I gotta do it for the big time rides. I gotta do it for the big ones. Yeah, we're gonna have to test that. We'll do another test on this. We'll come back and we're gonna do Rise of the Resistance. All right? Well, as always, thank you so much for hanging out and having a good time with us. We'll see you next time, guys. Vlog. Finito. <laughs>